Well, we're at Worldwide Technology Raceway here in St. Louis. We are currently doing some maintenance. It's a Wednesday setup day. We are gonna finally change our Monster Triple Disc Clutch. It's been in there for a year and a half, beginning of last year actually, which is pretty amazing. So we're gonna see how it is, stick a brand new one in there and be ready to roll for the weekend. Hopefully everything will go smooth. Gotta check out some gearing, got a new track layout. We got Rick over here talking a little bit of crap. He better get out. I like talking shit. <laughs> He's a little short for that, but you know. I'm on the outside. All right, Andrew, what we got? This is uh, still warm. So disc number one. That's fucked. No, it's not. <laughs> that looks great. It does Holy look hell, good. I would run that again. Rick, we don't good need job, you to be Monster. a smart ass. Good job, Monster. <laughs> I can't even use this. <laughs> They're heading out. Hot pit. It's Thursday morning. We got pro spec pro, uh, practice and qualifying today, then pro practice and qualifying later today. Uh, we got my car ready to go basically. We got a few little odd in things we're gonna do this morning through the day the team's gonna take care of. I'm spotting for Connor. Um, tracks change a little bit, so I'll show you all that up here in a little bit. They extended zone three. Um, looks like it's gonna be pretty uh, a pretty big extension, so uh, curious to see how the cars do. I think it's gonna be better and a better flow, but I'm not really positive about that. So we'll see how it does. Hopefully Connor lays down a solid lap right off the bat, get some good feedback and uh, go from there. Boys got the car all ready to go. And um, right now they're welding the exhaust, uh, just fixing it from where it went on two wheels. But other than that, they got everything ready, dialed, uh, about to suit up, we get the car on the line and we go hot in 30 minutes. We both in the show. We both in the show. We both in. I qualified 16th. Uh, felt like I could definitely do better, uh, but at least we got in. Um, just went in the outside zone two a little uh, late, uh, more with the front end at the beginning of it rather than being already transitioned in slowing down. Uh, it's just a little bit difficult to drive the track whenever it's dark like this and not having any laps at all at night. But anyways, uh, still laid down solid lap. Practice went pretty well. Uh, team's team is just killing it. Um, so can't really can't thank those guys enough because uh, it's really hot here in St. Louis humid um, and We are used to the weather, but unfortunately it still sucks um, But anyways man cars ripping huge thanks to Mr. Cool all the supporters Masoli. That's a wrap for a qualifying day All right guys, it's Saturday Connor just finished up uh, battling today in prospect we got fourth place, super proud of him, pumped for the whole crew. Now it's time for me to lay down some uh, laps and hopefully we can do the same and uh, maybe even put it on the podium, which is our goal. Crew's got the car dialed up. We got some grip dialed into it. Uh, we're putting it on the high tune and uh, we'll see if this chassis can take it and see if we can get the grip uh, with the high tune. We never have been able to yet, uh, but we really haven't tried. Usually run the car in the medium setting. Um, so now we're really uh, trying to utilize the chassis grip and uh, put as much as we can and have a really fast car uh, to hopefully put this baby on the box. Um, it's super hot here. There's Pops. He's the man. We did it. He's the man. Uh, so just finishing up, uh, getting ready, prepping, and about to go put the car on the line, get practice, a warm up for top 32 and see how we do. Yeah. 
or mimic what uh, Trent is doing in the lead. Get in the same line, stay close. All right, come on now, Trent Beecham. Thrown down for the West Coast, and look at Johnson Hurst right there riding on the door of Trent Beecham. Very good angle from Trent Beecham. The Mr. Cool BMW has to back off a little bit, but then he lunges back forward. And now that last outside zone, a big flick by Beecham, but he ends up coming up just a bit short, some contact banging on it. And again, trying to uh, come unwound, but again, makes his presence felt. Hurst was with him, followed him where he was going, stayed nice and close and mimicked his line. Yeah, again, a great effort by Trent Beecham. Just Hurst was just that much more refined. He just, yep. he, he just, just that little scotch that just made it, again, just that much richer. Yeah. seeing the Mr. Cool, and he did, definitely needed the Mr. Cool today in the Vitor BMW. He is the pride of Paducah. It is Jonathan Hurst. So we're here in the pits. We're about to go out for a top 16 battle with Nick Novak. We won our top 32 against Trent Beecham. Uh, in practice, when Cameron was videoing just a minute ago, uh, while we were in practice for a warm-up for our top 32, uh, we were experiencing a boost control solenoid failure. So uh, we pulled the Garrett waste gates apart and just put the bigger springs in it. And uh, so we had all of our boosts no matter what. So unfortunately, we can't really turn it down if we wanted to. Um, but I really don't think it's an issue. It did uh, have a huge uh, thunderstorm or really, really rained a lot. So hopefully uh, the track is completely dry by the time we get to go. It looks like it's a little damp right now, but uh, we get a sight lap, a couple sight laps, uh, or a sight lap, I mean, and uh, get a feel for the track before our 16 and see how we go against Nick Novak, which qualified too. It'd be great to go ahead and uh, put him in the trailer. Hopefully, so we can move on to the grade eight and get back in this uh, championship hunt. Yeah, I think the challenge here with Novak and also with uh, with Taguchi is that we haven't really had a spotty course event throughout this, this uh, event yet. All right, here we go. Nick Novak initiates in that BMW. Big wide swing there. Novak, GT Rado, but look at Jonathan Hurst. The pride of Paducah slides it into that second outside zone. Nick Novak maxing out the angle. A little quick correction to get into that third outside zone. Now come into that last outside zone. Here goes Novak. Ooh. Oh! Oops, got it. up there. He got into the red and white rumble strips that grabbed him, and it got obviously very slick. slick. When they go from that start line, and we got a clean start. Let's see how he handles this initiation. Straight line approach right into it. Goes that Mr. Cool BMW, and no back. Gets in the pocket, almost hits him. Oh boy, and look at that, he comes out of angle. Talking about Nick Novak in the chase position, but Jonathan Hurst, he gets deeper into that third outside zone. Don't get in that red and white or it's gonna get slick, and no, he fights it off. So, he does get in the red and white, but does not spin out, so. Yep, kind of pound on the chest, like, here we go, we're about to throw down, but unfortunately, there you go, Jonathan Hurst, Mr. Cool BMW, is going to the great eight. Who was out 32, now here's the eight, fight for a number four spot, but Jonathan Hurst would love to twist the screws on Frederick Osbo, that rock star pilot, and there he goes, the Mr. Cool BMW, that second outside zone. Hurst backs off just a little bit, but now back to it. Into that third outside zone, Frederick Osbo, signature Osbo style, almost, oh, what is that? That was absolutely wild. Looks like it came out of drift and just shimmied its way. It looked like like the suspension part broke or something. That looked wild. Kentuckian, Paducah, Kentucky to be exact. Exact. Jonathan Hurst will now lead. Now keep in mind, yeah, he needed a tire and uh, he kept it where the rubber meets the road, but the rubber actually didn't meet the road because he beat it and, and shook up the car a little bit. Here we go, that Mr. Cool BMW. He's gonna try to fight back. Oh, no, he won't. And unfortunately, that'll be all she wrote for. Jonathan Hurst, a great effort there, but it uh, doesn't matter what Osbo does in the entirety of this run. Frederick Osbo's going to the final four. So again, the three-time champion who was knocked out in 32. All right, guys, it's a wrap. Unfortunately, got beat by Osbo in the grade eight. Um, 
in my chase run against him, I knew I had to put the pressure on. We had the pace for sure. Just definitely uh, bit off a little more than I could chew in zone three, got a little too close and just missed time my transition, which was a really big bummer. Um, I really, really, really wanted that win. But uh, in my lead lap, I didn't really, I just tried to throw one down for the fans and just throw down one of the craziest, sickest, fastest laps I had the whole weekend. And I came out the hole swinging so hard that I even broke the shift knob. I don't even know where the shift knob is, but I shifted so hard out of the gate that that baby came right off. Um, unfortunately, over road and uh, going into outside zone two, just trying to be on the limiter. I mean, just on throttle as much as I could, knowing I had to do everything I could to get Osbo to make a mistake, which he usually doesn't. So, um, unfortunately, ended our night. Um, not too bad, I guess. Probably moved up maybe a spot or two in points, maybe. Hopefully back in the top 10, um, which isn't a bad spot for us. Um, Connor going out, uh, what was it, top four? Yeah, top four. So a top four, top eight, not too bad for the team. Uh, going to Seattle for uh, Pro One only and looking forward to it.